let us do now uh, program number 4 which is a uh, write and read 051c program to add array of 16 bit number and store the result in internal ram actually if you add 16 bit number answer also uh, 16 bit only sometimes you may get uh, um, 17 uh, okay not 32 bit numbers you are going to get you are going to get even if carry is generated an extra bit will come there is a mistake in the question so 16 bit you have to add and you have to check whether carry is generated or not so open the file so this is previous program so close the previous project or just stop the debugging and uh, remove the old file don't create new project every time just remove the file from your project it will be there in your folder so that right click add new item to the group and uh, add 16 bit uh, add 16 bit array add an array of 16 bit numbers you can write So after that, uh, I will copy program into already executed all the programs. So I think it is adding addition of 8 bit only. So not 16 bit because 8051 basically it is a 8 bit uh, microcontroller. So let us do not 16 bit. I think uh, they copied the question from. Uh, arm something so it should be you should learn start from 8 bit okay so change that question to add 8 bit uh, binary array okay we are adding 8 bit numbers in a array so include register 51.h include stdio.h okay void main unsigned int i and uh, if you want to declare one more as an int only you can put comma and you can declare one more variable here you can write unsigned int i semicolon and one more next line unsigned int array instead of that instead of two lines on the same line you can put, put uh, uh, unsigned int i comma array of five this is square bracket you have to use this is the name of the array array five indicates number of elements in array so give random data if you write uh, hexadecimal a uh, 0x you have to include if you don't write uh, it will be considered as uh, decimal but while storing in the memory these are converted into hexadecimal so 10 will be converted into 0 a 20 converted into uh, 1 4 okay so like that uh, 30 40 50 also converted into equivalent hexadecimal value so we need to add this array of five eight bit uh, numbers stored in the array so since sum is actually 32 bit that given so you can declare unsigned long sum initialized to zero so we have to add number of array if you put here five uh, fifty okay fifty data you have to specify Okay, if only for under uh, simplification, I, I given only five. You can write ten and give ten datas. You write fifty and give enter fifty datas. So unsigned long sum because once you keep on adding, your answer may cross uh, two fifty five. So if you declare it as a, uh, I think into is okay. If you declare it as a char, it will cross that limit. I think. Uh, for uh, this number you can declare int also it will work because it is a four bit uh, four uh, hexadecimal okay four digit that is a uh, 32 bit okay uh, 16 bit four hexadecimal four four is a 16 16 bit answer will come if it is still if the answer is still more better you declare it as long unsigned long type sum and it is initialized to zero now since we have to add five datas so for i is equal to 0 i less than equal to 5 okay this is actually in array the first element is array of 0 
this is array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 array of 4 array of uh, array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 array of 4 so 4 is sufficient once that uh, 5 comes okay till uh, i less than 5 means 4 up to array of 4 it will execute once that uh, uh, value of i plus plus becomes 5 this uh, condition fails and this will not execute this okay initially sum is equal to 0 initial value of i is 0 if i less than 5 execute sum is equal to sum plus array so sum plus is equal to array is also correct and sum is equal to sum plus array is better always you will not get any confusion sum is added with initial value of sum is 0 sum is added with array of 0 array of 0 is 10 and new value of this sum will be assigned to once again sum only initially assigned to 0 that will be replaced by addition of first number next increment of i place takes place 2 2 is less than 5 again i of sorry 1 initial value of i is 0 no 0 plus i plus plus means 1 now sum is added with array of 1 again assigned to sum again i plus plus again if it is less than 5 again add with sum plus array of 2 so like that it will keep on increasing up to i less than 4 this will execute after that the answer will be passed to again uh, here they have taken care of only uh, p1 assuming that the uh, sum of this all this actually less than 255 okay let us verify this now so let me check the number given whether only one is sufficient or not 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 if it is crossing 255 no it is not crossing so one port is enough if it crosses uh, 255 two ports you have to use okay if it crosses uh, uh, still more then three ports we need to use okay now let us check the answer build target so zero error zero warnings start debug by clicking this d button get only one port is enough which port is used port one so close this port is not required and see that uh, call stack plus locals is on if it is not on you have to click this call stack window call stack window also you can check and you can check uh, watch, uh, watch window where you have to give the expression as some okay you can give expression as some uh, some you can double click here and you can give sum here also you can see here what is there sum is there okay and here you can write array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 like that you can write so you open your stock this is sufficient we want array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 array of 4 and sum okay let us start now assign uh, sorry unsigned int i array of 5 it will be initialized to 10 20 30 40 50 note that it is decimal it in the memory it will store it as hexadecimal so if you want you can write 0x20 0x20 0x30 0x40 0x50 so that same numbers will store here so now we'll execute first step see a means 10 20 means 14, uh, 30 means 1e, 40 means 28, 50 means 32. So after that, sum is initialized to 0. No change here. After that, sum is equal to 0 plus sum of uh, array of 0. So sum should be changed to 10. 10 means a. After that, after this close bracket i plus plus will take place now value of i is 1 array of 0 is over array of 1 is 20 okay now sum is added with uh, 10 plus 20 it is equal to 1e okay 1e is equivalent to 30 is equivalent to 1e 1 e
1 e in hexadecimal is equal to decimal 30 we added 10 plus 20 now so 1 e is coming here again after this close bracket i plus plus will takes place again that uh, increment value of i is less than 5 so again it will add now its answer is 3c like that it will continue once the i value is uh, 5 now i is not equal to 5 5 is not less than 5 so this condition fails so it will come out of this for loop now sum is assigned to port 1 port 1 will have the value of sum so here you should get answer as 96 you can see the answer in hexadecimal in hexadecimal okay first we will do decimal we are adding 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 is actually 150 in hexadecimal it is 96 so 96 also coming here and it is coming in only last two bytes so no need to use second port so in one port we can show this 96 so here port 1 should immediately show this sum value so 96 how it is 96 1 tick means 1 1 0 0 1 9 1 0 0 1 is 9 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 is 6 so it is 96 and you can observe here x x means hexadecimal so hexadecimal 96 is equal to decimal 150 which is equal to 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 okay similarly if the take some 10 okay like 10 values or 50 value and give some 50 data and if some crosses 255 value then one more port you can use like uh, in the previous program how we did in the factorial here also sum and with 0 x f f 0 0 right shift by 8 times and send it to another port p2 it will show the uh, remaining bits here okay 